I'm headed back to DC. We have last week Freedom Caucus successfully negotiated a deal we believed we could move forward with. Um, and you'll be hearing, reading about that deal, seeing it in the news today a lot because uh, it was made public last night. Basically, it puts us in the best possible position negotiating with the, the Democrat controlled Senate and the White House to actually have conservative uh, policies that we've written in the House, signed into law, and pass our budget, 12 appropriations bills. Um, so it's not a done deal yet, but the, but the, what we envisioned as a deal is holding up. It's, uh, it's being broadly accepted across the conference. Uh, we put it together uh, with a great deal of, deal of diplomatic effort uh, across the factions within the Republican conference. And, you know, there's only there's 38 Freedom Caucus members, which I'm one with, with the uh, furthest to the right, if, if you will, the most conservative in the conference. But you have another 20, 30 guys on the other side. You know, so that's, that's reality. And this is what you have to try to overcome in order to get to 218 yeses in order to pass legislation through the House of Representatives. So that's uh, where we've been. Most Democrats are uh, totally opposed to, to this deal. So they will probably unite against it, which means we need, uh, we need every Republican to support the, the plan that we have. We'll see what happens. But it's all been worth the fight. I can tell you that. Win or lose, man. We, you know, we have an old saying in, in boxing, you might not win every fight, just be in every fight. And that's, that's, um, that's what has happened here over the course of this year. So I think we'll have very positive results this week. And then we're, we're still in a battle, man, battle with, with the Senate. Uh, the Democrat-controlled Senate does not want the conservative policies that we have written into this into the budgets that, that we're passing. And we're going to pass all 12 appropriations bills. We're sending them a plan this week that will we'll keep the government open. That, of course, the mainstream media is going to, you know, pull the hair out, screaming to you about the, the potential closure of the government. Um, that's a whole nother conversation. <laughs> The point is, I'm headed back in this morning and uh, probably won't be back in Louisiana for a couple of weeks while we while we wrap things up with our, our budget and the ongoing battle with the Senate. So hang in there with us. Freedom Caucus is certainly hanging in there with you. Both.